Hey guys, how are you? Tom Keown, www.yourtruechange.com. Don't forget uh, to learn uh, my fast five steps to business from nothing. Uh, to download that free um, video gift uh, right on the page on yourtruechange.com. Learn how to create a profitable in-home based business in less than a week um, in order to uh, really basically do whatever you want. Fulfill your dreams. Uh, have more time, pay off more debt, have more money to basically do whatever you want. I tell you my five essential things that you can do to get started tomorrow. So thanks for joining me here. Um, and today we are going to go over um, get direct sales. And of course, when you're talking about direct sales, one of the uh, most old school, orthodox, and still a uh, very formidable ways uh, to sell your product or service directly to customers is, of course, can you guess it? Can you guess it? That's right, cold calling. Okay, something that we all dread, but the reality is, is that it does work. Um, it's not necessarily worth you doing it, uh, but what you should do is know that if you find a a, a very effective cold caller uh, who can pitch your product or service, uh, it could be amongst your absolute best ways to generate leads, okay? So you might not, not necessarily uh, need to form the personality or need to um, have to be a cold caller yourself, but if you know your product and, and you know your service and you want to know your sales force or the people out there who are pushing your product or service, then you should be, be, be the one who really is controlling the cold calling script that you're creating. So I'm going to go over now three things that you need in order to create a successful, robust, cold call script. Okay, these are things that I used when I used to make over 120 cold calls a day that then made very good results uh, and into millions of dollars of sales uh, back when I was in finance uh, and then, of course, in, in uh, financial sales. Okay, so it's three things and three things only. Number one is a very solid introduction. You cannot just go in and just start mumbling and jumbling about your product, okay? Your, your introduction can be no, absolutely no longer than 12 to 14 seconds at the absolute most. And the main reason why is because if you go longer than that, research shows that the prospect who you're calling and you're targeting is most likely going to either hang up, give you a very hard no, or be uh, ticked off at you and might say something even worse. So you want to be able to come up with a very, very simple introduction where you're basically, set, one, introducing yourself and who you are, two, the company or the business that you're affiliated with, and three, exactly uh, what your question is for them as if, would you like to buy my, my brand of tomato sauce? Would you like to hot, would you like to sell your business? Would you like to buy my brand of like you know uh, hairdressing materials? Whatever it is that your product or service is, that's all it is. An introduction of yourself, what company you're from, and then what you're offering it is and the question if they're interested. Okay? As you know, nine times out of ten, the prospect over the phone is going to say no. So what you need to do is you need to create a route, meaning a map, okay, a tree, if what what they're gonna say if you say yes and what they're gonna say if they're gonna say no plan that 90% of the time they're going to say no. If they say yes, you're in the clear. Boom. You just go in and you say, okay, excellent, and you start going over your options. If they say no, which is going to happen, as I said, nine times out of ten, I keep saying that, what you need is an accurate transition. What is a transition? Transition is basically a series of four to five questions that you're immediately going to ask once the prospect says no. You're going to rapid fire, or, or the person that you're hiring to cold call is going to rapid fire these questions. So if you're trying to sell your cans of tomato sauce to a prospect over the phone, um, and they say no, you come back and you say, have you purchased cans of, cans of tomato sauce before? From what company? Was it a big brand or a small brand? What kind of uh, food products do you usually purchase? Come up with a bunch of questions that are related to your mission and, some, and related to their business equally. Okay, if they start to answer these questions, chances are they probably have at least an inkling of interest. What is the point of this? The point of rapid fire questions after they say no is they haven't even gotten the opportunity to start thinking yet about why they're on the phone, why they're talking to you. At the same time, you're reinforcing them to give you information. So it's really, really important because um, 
by the time they've already given you a couple of uh, pieces of, of of information and as you rapid fire these four or five questions one not too much time has gone by and two you now have information to work with to build even more questions right so then what's going to happen third and final thing you need for a cold, cold call script is the control profile what is this once you go from the transition and, and you've asked a bunch of questions in only a a couple of seconds once you get rapid fire questioning you're going to go into a series where you ask more substantive questions. So after you ask, you know, for example, um, who they who they purchased other other cans of tomato from in the past, if they've purchased it in the past, from who, a larger or small competitor, and what types of food that they typically go and purchase, you're then going to ask them more general and more substance-based questions, okay? Because why? Because by the time you got to this point, the the tension has lowered, the comfort has risen, and therefore, you should be able to ask more questions. How long have you owned the business? How long have you guys been around? Who are you currently purchasing from? Where do you consider you like you know an average price point to be? What prices would you be comfortable with? All types of questions pertaining to what you need to know and what benefits them. Why? Because the more questions you ask, the higher likelihood it is that you're going to find out what their pain is. Their pain meaning 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 what do they need? What do they suffer from? Why are they going to even want to listen to you? How can you possibly help them, right? Because any sale is basically about solving problems, okay? Sales is not mumbo jumbo gibberish, garbage, yada, yada, yada. Sales is being a consultant, right? It's one of the most misunderstood professions in the world. Sales are consultants, okay? Just like management consultants, just like accounting consultants, whatever, engineering consultants, okay? Sales are former consultants. So act like it like a consultant. And don't forget, if you have these three things, you can successfully transition into an interview. The introduction, no more than 12 to 14 seconds. The transition, rapid fire of four to five questions, and the control profile, which starts to build comfort, less tension, and bring you into the interview process. And that's when you start to build the rapport. Okay? So if you have those three things uh, built into your cold call script, you're going to have uh, one, a um, very high a rate of conversion, uh, two, a uh, live information that you're going to gain from the prospect and an ability to gain their pain to work with to sell to them either now or in the future and three the ability to form a long-lasting relationship and to uh, be able to brand yourself and your company okay so that's the three things needed to uh, build a successful cold call script uh, when you're using um, real or I'm sorry when, when, when you're when you're trying to sell really any type of product or service okay I'm Tom McCown thanks for joining www.yourtruechange.com please do not forget to download fast five steps uh, to to uh, business from nothing uh, how to create your own business at home from having basically zilch business experience knowing absolute jack okay and now suddenly having the ability to work from wherever the heck you want and have your own business, uh, having a product or a service, um, a way to sell it and people to sell it to in less than a week. I tell you how to do this exactly in this very short video. So go ahead and download it. I look forward to speaking with you next time. Thanks, guys.